what's up what's up welcome to be right back and yes i'm back with another diy video on how to do an oil change on your motorcycle or let's say yamaha xsr 900 and this time without changing the engine oil filter or cartridge so actually based on the manual's periodic maintenance you have to do an oil change for the first 1000 kilometers and the next is 7000 kilometers so it means every 6000 kilometers with an interval of replacing the oil filter so this time i'm not going to change the oil filter so before we start these are the tools and the things that we are going to use so first we need some breaker bar a 17 mm a ratchet and a torque wrench and then we need a 3 liter oil and a multi-purpose wipes and a nitrile gloves and also we need something to catch the old oil like this one let's start the process so first i'm going to remove this bolt using a breaker bar So to loosen this bolt, it should be counterclockwise or going up like that. And then we can now place the, this oil catch pan and we can now remove this. Also I forgot to mention we need also a new gasket. So every time I do an oil change always replace that gasket so I'm gonna wear a glove there you go also you have to open this uh, filler cup or cover so I'm going to put this breaker bar here so all all this all goes down and guys I forgot to mention that we need also a funnel so it's easy to uh, fill up a new oil using this funnel so now I think it's time to replace the old gasket so just we need to clean this bolt Then so I'm gonna use a I'm gonna use a knife to pry the old gasket. There you go. So here's the old gasket. and the new gasket so this is the gasket for Yamaha XSR 900 it's the same gasket for FZ09 or FJ09 
or the Tracer 900. So let's put it now. So here's the gasket and here's the back of the gasket. See this? This should be facing the engine oil pan. And this should set here. So we're going to put it like this. Okay. So I think it's time to put back the drain plug or drain bolt. And regarding regarding the oil, since we did not replace this uh, oil filter, the measurement of the oil is different. We can now remove this out of the way. So to tighten this bolt is should be clockwise and we're going to use now we're going to use this uh, torque wrench so the specific torque for this one is 31 pound feet torque That's it, 31 pound feet torque. I'm gonna remove this and put this funnel. So the specific amount of uh, oil that we need to put without replacing the oil filter is 2.4 liters and if you want to uh, you want to replace your oil filter you have to put 2.7 liters of oil so here's one liter That's the one liter. Next is this. Lift this thing, and then pull it out. Like that. Then So that's it for the second liter and the third liter of oil and we only need 0.4p so there's a measurement at the back here's the 200 ml to 400 600 800 to 1 liter so we need only maybe 400 or from here 600 because the measurement was here lift this thing and then pull just like that make sure to remove any debris 
or debris. Okay. So I'm going to remove this. Already clean this one. I'm sure this part is clean also. And then so that's the level of the oil. So let's start. And if ever we need to add or top up an oil just to be on the right level. So let's check it here. sit for a while so I think that's good so after I let it run for a couple of minutes then I let it sit for half an hour so that I can see the real oil level and for me that is perfect so yes thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you will be updated once I upload a new video or a new DIY video so see you when I'll be right back